This video is sponsored by Euro Optics. Their American sales staff are all shooters, hunters, and outdoorsmen. If you call, they actually pick up the phone by someone who knows their products and will steer you in the right direction based on your needs. Their inventory is listed in real time, so if it shows in stock, then it is in stock. They ship all orders the same day and offer one and two day delivery commitments. Check them out at eurooptic.com. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in Atheridge now and today we've got a EAA Windicator with a four inch, looks vent ribbed, it's not a vent rib barrel, it just has those fake vents in there. Rubber grips, budget revolver, a lot of people like this revolver. This one's chambered in 38 special, all right, that's a six shot. Has blacked out rear sights, ramped up front sight. Overall, it's a heavy revolver, but that's what it's supposed to be with a steel frame. Let's go ahead and take a few shots and see how this does. All right, not bad. All fired off pretty good. No argument there. Let's uh, check it out a little bit more. We'll load it up and see how this does. All right, let's try this again. We're going single action. If I can figure this out a little better. There it is. Let's head over to the table. This belongs to trees to blow in. We're going to talk about this EAA Windicator with a 4 inch barrel. Here's a closer look at the EAA Windicator. This has a 4 inch barrel. It is a 6 shot 38 special. This belongs to my buddy Trees Blown. He's with me right now. I believe you paid $373 for this. Right in that neighborhood, yep. You happy with it so far? Yeah, but uh, the trigger and double action for my especially with a bare hand. It's got some sharp edges on it. I need to take a Dremel through it, or I've actually been looking for a trigger shoe for it. Yeah, okay. Well, we're playing around with it, and it it does, like, you have to pull that thing. Now, it's pretty standard with the double action, but I wouldn't want to shoot a lot of double action because that actually hurts a little bit. Yeah, it does. You know, it's cold out here, but the single action's really nice, as we would expect from... Air revolver, you measured it, what's the uh, weight? 25 and a half, five and three quarter. Okay, not bad. It does have the four inch barrel, full under lug right there. These are rubber, feels like a real tight rubber. Yeah, little it's little squish. A grip type grip. Yeah, overall not bad. Does have uh, rear sights that are blacked out and a wrapped up front sight. Orange insert would be nice, but it is a budget revolver. It has these fake vents in here. What do you suppose that's for? Make it look like a python, Joe, thing I can think of. Yeah, kind of <laughs> give it, it, it. I believe that's for aesthetics only. Yeah, it, it ain't got no use because they don't go all the way through. Yeah, and you've got a steel frame here, right? Yeah. All right, so there's no reason to cut down on any of the weight. So that's, that's just for the look of it all. But a lot of people like the EAA Windicator series. If you go to EAA right now, they don't even show the four inch barrel on their site. But the four inches is, is nice. You've shot it quite a bit so far? Eh, I put probably 100 rounds through it. Any hang ups? No. Okay. So overall, you're still happy with the purchase? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It does have a shrouded barrel right there, you can see. And I do like that single action trigger pull. I like the single action trigger pull on just about any revolver. I mean, it is really a short and easy trigger pull double action a bit stiff but overall for a budget gun 373 is what he paid for it i know back before all this nonsense with the gun prices it was quite a bit cheaper yeah people were picking it up for the mid 200s all right what do you say we load this up and fire it some more let's do it all right let's try this one-handed and single action left all right not bad it certainly goes bang every time you have to be careful when removing the rounds 
this ejector will hit the frame a little bit so it has to be perfectly center when removing the rounds but overall not a bad little revolver definitely budget priced you know if you're looking for something that is under four hundred dollars and you want a revolver in 38 special i i think it's a decent choice i think i like my taurus defender a little better but this is not bad i, I think it's i think it's fine it's just it's going to take me at least a little more practice to get that precision that i'm looking for if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.